thousand fans came in and yeah, do it for the ladies. Last February, Usher Raymond put on a spectacular performance at the Super Bowl halftime show, one of the biggest events in the United States. It was later revealed that BTS Jungkook could have appeared on the stage with the American singer, but unfortunately had to forego the opportunity. According to The New Yorker, Jungkook was invited to perform standing next to you with Usher at the Super Bowl event, but declined due to his military service obligations. Usher had taken part in the remix version of Jungkook's solo song Standing Next to You. Jungkook enlisted in December of last year, and the Super Bowl halftime show was held two months later in February of 2024. In the end, Usher ended up performing without the BTS star at the prominent Super Bowl event. Although it came to naught, Jungkook came close to making history as a K-pop fast once again. What kind of video content does J-Hope, who will soon be discharged from the military, watch during his free time? The BTS member recently mentioned culinary class wars, which has garnered considerable attention around the world. J-Hope cautiously uploaded a message on Weavas under a spoiler alert warning. In the message with the photo of Chef Edward Lee, Chef Egun, please open a fine dining tofu pop-up store. Egun is the Korean name for the master chef who showed off his talents to the fullest at culinary class wars. J-Hope's message was uploaded after the last episode of the series had aired. Edward Lee made a lasting impression on viewers after he created a full Western course meal using tofu as the main theme. J-Hope previously posted on a social media account, It's October, it's made up of very even pictures, quoting the trendy word even that was made famous in culinary class wars. Even is the word used by judge chef An Song Jae when there is a problem with the way the meat is cooked. J-Hope also posted a captured picture of cooking dorai, Yun Nam No, in his post reflecting his interest in cooking. Yoon, meanwhile, will appear on numerous newly created variety programs. The amount of publicity he is getting seems to confirm his current popularity in Korea. The documentary film RM, Right People, Wrong Place, which covers the making of RM's solo album, was screened for the first time at the Busan International Film Festival. On October 7, the outdoor theatre where the film was screened was packed with RM fans despite the downfall. A surprise interview video of the BTS leader was also released at the venue to the delight of his followers. In an interview, RM said, I tried to capture the real-life image of the human Kim Nanjun, and as right and wrong changes continuously depending on our perception, I believe that through this work, I became one of the right people. This film, which features the making of RM's second solo album, will be released in theatres around the world in October 12.